Shut up and sit down. We are back, friends, and I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And we are still Nerd Safari. Just about. Just about. And if you enjoy our videos, just about, then please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And, you know, we were clued in recently to a new teaser for a Game of Thrones prequel. And, you know, I read all the Game of Thrones books. Um... You know, maybe I'm not as big a fan as some other people I know of the books, but they were pretty good fantasy novels. We were also, would you say, fans of the Game of Thrones series, maybe, give or take, the last right season? Right up to the last one. We were all in. Yeah, it yeah, it didn't end well. Everybody knows that. However, I'm actually kind of intrigued to see what they do with a prequel to Game of Thrones. So we're going to go ahead right now and check out this teaser trailer called House of the Dragon. If you want to see what we think about it, then stick around until the end. But for now... Let's go. Let's go! Wow, 200 years wow. before. Oh, gods. Kings. So, House of the Dragon, a prequel tale about the House Targaryen, I would assume. The teaser didn't tell us too much, but what did you take away from it? Uh, yeah, it was quite teasy, which I do appreciate because it kind of showed you the quality of it. I mean, again, we've got those really incredible set pieces. The costuming is immaculate and incredibly intricate. So it kind of gives you hints like that. So you know, you know, yep, this is, we're back in Game of Thrones. The quality is back up again. You know, they're making good choices with that. Um, I'm looking forward to finding out more about the House of Targaryen because I feel like it's one of the more interesting houses and we didn't really get much kind of insight into the history and kind of the politics of that house because we only had one of them left at that point. That's the, one of the things that I'm looking forward to, not just because I am obsessed with dragons, but that's definitely an aspect of it. Um, maybe I could learn how to train a dragon. Ah, how to train a dragon indeed. Yeah, and actually in Game of Thrones, start at the very beginning in the first season, there were two Targaryens, but if you remember, Khal Drogo himself poured a thing of gold as a crown. I don't count the other one because he was horrible. He was very, very horrible. However, being horrible seems to be the House Targaryen MO. I don't think they were particularly good guys. Although I guess Daenerys and Viserys, are, and it's been 10 years since I read the book, so I could be wrong. I thought they were born from the Mad King, I thought he was called. So maybe they just came from a, a bad line. But mm. uh, but yeah, I also really like this. It, it's funny because like George, George R. R. Martin wrote the books and was heavily resistant to having dragons in them at all. And I, but I think most people found the dragons probably the most compelling thing in the book. So everything's better with dragons. It what really he is. Thinking? Yeah, he yeah he bowed to pressure eventually, and I'm sure he was glad he did. I don't know, and I'm sure our viewers can educate us. I don't know how involved George R. R. Martin is with this project. I kind of feel like HBO have now just taken the franchise in their own direction. I actually really liked some of the choices they made where they differed and diverged from the books a little bit. But also, clearly, in the final season, there were some things that we didn't like so much. So I don't know. I don't know how much um, involvement George R.R. R. Martin has and whether, if he does have any involvement, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess 
Time will tell. If it means fewer dragons, I hope he's not involved. Yeah. And I, I also wonder, I mean, in order to tell the story of the House of the Dragon, they've got to have some antagonists somewhere. They've got to have some enemies or some kind of political intrigue with some other house. And are we going to see the Lannisters? Are we going to see the Starks? Are we going to see some completely new faction? Because this is 200 years ago. Um, I don't know. But I guess this isn't coming too far away. I mean, it says 2022, which is really just around the corner at this point. But I uh, I don't know. I'm hoping we're going to see some real trailers. And, you know, maybe there are other houses involved here that could give this a really different oh. feel as well, as we, as we saw with the rest of Game of Thrones. And they've got 200 years to play with with this as well. Um, I'm kind of hoping, in some ways, I think it, it would be nice to dive back into a really long, extended Game of Thrones universe again and kind of really stretch out those 200 years. But in other ways, it would be nice if we could just kind of skip a little bit towards the <laughs> bit we got to, the, the, where the previous um, series started, so we could see kind of, you know, we could start to see familiar characters. That would be good too. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to see familiar characters in this. I mean, that that's just my opinion, but... Um, I mean, not 200 years old. No, exactly. But I I do wonder if they're doing House of the Dragon, are they going to do House of the Wolf or House, House of the Lion, maybe mm. for the Lannisters? Uh, yeah, I I don't know. I could actually get behind watching like a Stark prequel documentary yeah. and maybe a documentary series and maybe even like a Lannister I prequel series. I promise we can't tell the real life <laughs> movies. But no, maybe. the stories are my we? real life. Well, anyway, I guess that's all we can tell from this teaser trailer. But to me, it looked pretty darn good, I would say. And uh, hey, thank you to the people who clued us in to the fact that this was dropping. It, uh, yeah, is impressive. However, unfortunately, impressive or not, that is all the time we've got for you today. But you know how often we do this? Hopefully every day. If we can. If there are no more natural disasters, we'll try to be back tomorrow, friends, on the next Dork Trailer Ambush. Peace out, nerds. Bye. <laughs>